a, a guardian basically takes care of the ward. The ward can be a, a child of yours, or it can, there are professional guardians for people who don't have family, but there are different kinds of guardianships. So the guardian does according to what kind of guardianship it is. If it's a, a plenary full guardianship, then the guardian is going to handle your uh, finances, is going to make medical decisions, is going to decide where you live, if you vote, if you don't vote. Well, if, if you vote is, is a court matter. So if, if they took your right to vote away, you have to have it reinstated by the courts, same as driver's licenses. So the, the guardian in, in a plenary guardianship is going to basically control everything and apply to the court for those uh, duties that were not delegated to the guardian. A limited guardian is going to do what the limitation says. So often when I do guardianships, I'll, I'll leave the right to work in place. I'll leave the right to drive in place and the right to vote. What you take away is the right to choose where they live, uh, the right to, uh, to, of association who they associate with. Because a lot of times you're protecting these people against designing individuals who uh, may take advantage of the of the ward. And so the guardian is, duty is to pr not only protect the finances, but also make sure uh, to take care of the well-being of the ward.